hello hello today's workout is perfect for anybody who is trying to strengthen their back or is recovering from back injuries or is just trying to target um, the back area to tone and tighten um, all of these moves can be done from the comfort of your chair um, even a bench seat or even in your bed so whatever comfort level that is best for you don't be shy to give these moves a try. So we just have eight moves that you will do today. I would start with just doing 10 reps of each move until you feel comfortable with the movement. And as you get stronger and as you start to feel better um, about the movement and the range of motion, then you can continue to do it a second time, a third time. Um, and then as you get stronger, you can move to the next level of different types of exercises. So. Just eight moves for today that I would like to show you. And the first move is a crunch kick. So you're gonna sit in your chair, your arms are going to hold on to the side of your chair. If you're in your bed, you can place your hands flat down and you're just going to bring one leg in, kick it out. Bring one leg in, kick it out. One leg in, kick it out. Just like this. This is all the movement's going to be. You're working on your range bringing that knee to your chest and kicking it back. This is really going to work on your lower back as well as your obliques as you're trying to kick that leg out to the side. Keep going, a couple more. Make sure you're sitting upright and allowing your lower body with your back and your abs and your core to do all the work. All right, one more each side and great. The next move is going to be a windshield wiper single leg tap. Um, so basically you're going to start with your legs side to side and you're going to lift them up and raise it to the other side in the windshield movement. Right now it's a single leg tap, but it's going to help with your lower back and your obliques to get those legs from one side to the other. You wanna sit up straight and really focus on driving each tap to the other side. Eventually, as you get stronger, you'll be able to lift up your legs all the way over to the other side together. Give me a couple more. And as you progress and get stronger, the next move that you'll be able to do will be all in one rotation. Give me one more. There you go. When you get stronger, you'll be able to hold the side and lift both legs up at the same time, side to side. But you need to get stronger with the movements first. Next up, we're gonna do a single leg raise. So you're just going to lift it straight up and down, straight up, down, straight up, down, there you go. Try to extend that leg all the way out. You're doing good. Try to lift it as high as you can go. There you go. Almost done. Kick it out far. I'm with you. Three more each side. Here we go, last one. Awesome, okay, so that's good for your lower back and making sure that your core is stable so you can build the muscles everywhere else. Next, we're gonna to start to work more of our mid back and our oblique. As your core gets stronger, it's going to support your back. So the first move is going to be a sitting twist. You're gonna put your hands together in the front. You're gonna twist side to side. If this range of motion hurts to twist too much, I want you to start just in the front, moving your hands on the opposite side of your rib cage. And as you start to get stronger and your back feels better, you can have a wider range of motion. Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever your body feels good to do, but as you keep doing it, and getting stronger, your range of motion should go further every time. 
Couple more sitting twists. All right, and you're done. Awesome, the next move is a renegade row. So you're gonna bend over slightly in the front. I'll turn to the side so you can see my angle. I'm still flat back, but I'm slightly angled forward. And I'm gonna pull my arms back and try to connect my elbows in the back. They're not going to be able to connect, but I'm gonna go reach in the front, pull back, okay? So we're gonna lean forward, chest up, head up, hands down to your side, and you're gonna row up, up and down. There you go. Try to pull those arms all the way back. Row it up. You got it. You got five more, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, next move, you're gonna sit all the way up. You're gonna extend your hands above your head. You can interlock your arms, and you're just gonna do a tricep extension. So you're gonna reach back, extend them all the way up. Reach back, extend them all the way up. This is going to help with your upper back and help your shoulder blades and your triceps to help with the work to support your back. You should have a slight arc as you reach those arms back in your chair, but then extend all the way up to the top. A couple more. Keep going. One more. And done. And the next move is going to be a lawnmower cross body pull. So you're going to put one hand on your hip, drop your other arm across, and you're going to row it back. So reach down. Pull that lawnmower strength, get that thing started. There you go, come on, reach down, lift it up. Down and up, down and up. We're gonna do this side first, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. There you go, keep going. We got four, three, two, and one. Great job, hand on your other hip. Cross it in front. You got a good grip. We're gonna pull real hard, ready? Three, two, one, pull. Down and up. There you go. Keep it going. I love it. You got this. A lot of work can still be done, even in a sitting position. A few more, you got this. Two and one. Awesome. That was your crossbody lawnmower. Now you have the final move. You're going to sit in your chair and it's just a crossbody front punch. You're just going to cross, cross. So you open your chest all the way up, arc your back a little bit, and you cross in front. So open, close. So you're doing a slight bend and a slight arc every time you crunch. There you go. This is doing your upper and your lower back at the same time. We're going to do this for a little while. This is your last move. Keep going. Arc, crunch, arc, crunch. You're almost done. You can do it. A little bit's going to go a long way. Here we go. We're going to get stronger every day. Come on, keep trying it. All right, give me two more. One and two. Awesome. If you feel good, feel free to try the whole circuit again. Go ahead and hit play again. Otherwise, if you're finished and you feel comfortable with what amount of work you did today, let's do a small stretch just to help relax those muscles and get them wound down after the little bit of work that they did, okay? So let's do a deep breath up, down, deep breath up, down. And let's reach over to the side. Reach, reach, reach. You can go further, reach with it. There you go. Let's do the other side. Up, reach. Reach, reach, reach. There you go. We're gonna bend straight down in front as far as you can go. If this is as far as you can go, that's fine. 
if you want to go a little bit further or a little bit further and just hold it. All right, bring it up slow and you're done. Good job. Let's get that back nice and strong and let's be ready for some more work. See you soon.